In this last section, uh, numbers 45 through 48, we're going to go ahead and sketch the graph of each linear inequality. So number 45, we have y is greater than negative 8 fifths x minus 3. So we'll go ahead and graph the line, and in this case, you'll notice the sign here is just greater than, not greater than or equal to, so my line will be dashed. So I'm going to kind of put that there so I remind myself whenever I draw the line to draw it dashed. Okay, so we'll start down here at the y-intercept, which is negative 3, and then we'll use the slope of negative 8 fifths, which means we'll go down 8 and over 5. Oh, that puts us way off the graph. So how about up 8 and then back 5, and that should put us right there for another point. Okay, so I'm going to grab my handy-dandy note card here, and I'm going to draw my line, and my line should be a dashed line because it's just greater than. So, we'll kind of do one of these things, a nice dashed line. Put an arrows on each end, indicating that uh, the lines go indefinitely in both directions. So, and y is greater than. So, here's our y-axis. The greater thans are up here, because these are big numbers, and the less thans are down here, because they're small numbers. So, we're going to do it above the line, so we'll do it up on this side. So my shading will be on the top of the line. Okay, so there's the answer to number 45. In number 46 here, we have y is less than or equal to negative 1 fourth x minus 2. So again, we'll start by drawing our point on the y-axis, which is negative 2 for the y-intercept. And then we can use our slope, negative 1 fourth, to draw some more points here. So negative 1 fourth or up one and back four. And notice the line that we'll have is a solid line since we have that equals along with the less than. So we'll do a nice solid line. So we'll connect the dots here. There we go. Okay, so a nice solid line. And it's y is less than. So again, here's our y-axis. The big stuff's up here, and the little stuff's down here. So we want it to be less than, so we want it going toward the side of the, the smaller numbers, or the negative numbers. So if it's less than, then it'll be this business down here. So we'll shade below the line, and the answer to number 46 is the graph that you see right there. On number 47, we have x is less than 3. So we're dealing with just the x-axis here, and we know that the line x equals 3 is actually a vertical line. So the x-intercept will be at 3, and it's just less than, not equal to as well. So we know it's going to be a dashed line. I'll put a couple more points there so we can get an idea of what that looks like. It's going to be a vertical dashed line at x equals 3. So we'll draw our little dashed vertical line there. And in this case, x is less than 3. So we're dealing with the x-axis, so the big stuff's up here and the little stuff's down here. We want it less than, so we want it to be less than that. So it's going to be all of this stuff over here that gets shaded. So the answer to number 47 is this dashed vertical line at x equals 3. And then we're going to shade everything to the left of it. So there's 47. In number 48, we have y is greater than or equal to 2. Notice that uh, it's going to be a horizontal line, and its y-intercept will be 2. So we'll go ahead and put that point right there. And since it's a horizontal line, I'll go ahead and put some other points there. Notice it will be uh, a solid line because we have that equal sign there. So let's just go ahead, prepare here for action to do our solid line. There we go. So we've got a nice solid line there. And now we want y is greater than 2. So we want everything above it. So here's the, the high stuff, the big stuff, the positive stuff. And here's the, the small stuff, or the negative stuff. We want y to be bigger. So we want it above that 2. So we'll shade this whole thing. So everything above this horizontal line is going to be our solution region. So there's the answer to number 48.